White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders on Tuesday dismissed the findings of a government report that warned of the impending consequences of climate change, claiming it's not based on facts. The president's certainly leading on what matters most in this process, and that's on having clean air, clean water, Sanders told reporters at a press briefing. In fact, the United States continues to be a leader on that front. Sanders disputed the report's findings, claiming it's not based on facts and arguing that modeling the climate is never exact. She did not indicate that Trump would call on world leaders at this week's Group of 20 summit to address the report's findings. We think that this is the most extreme version, and it's not based on facts, she said. It's not data-driven. We'd like to see something that is more data-driven. It's based on modeling, which is extremely hard to do when you're talking about the climate. The report was developed by multiple federal agencies. A version of it is mandated to be released every four years under the National Climate Assessment from the multi-agency Global Change Research Program. The hundreds of government and external scientists involved in the research concluded that climate change could cost the United States billions of dollars annually within decades if greenhouse gases aren't dramatically reduced and could worsen environmental disasters like wildfires and flooding. Its findings aligned with those of the broader scientific community. Trump downplayed the report's findings, telling reporters on Mondays that he doesn't believe its warnings about the economic impacts of climate change. The president has long voiced skepticism about the existence of climate change. Democrats criticized that the report was released on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, saying the timing was meant to bury it. They renewed calls for the use of renewable energy sources and other policies that could mitigate the effects of climate change. Republican lawmakers have largely acknowledged that the climate is changing, but have offered few concrete solutions to address the problem. Some lawmakers have emphasized the need to find innovations that would not adversely affect the economy.